Hello again and welcome back. I'm McSnazzy and today we are back in City Skylines for another episode of our brand new Grand Haven series. But before that, please consider subscribing down below. It's completely free and it really does help out the channel. Now to get into this episode today, we are going to be expanding on what we did last time. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. The link will be in the description below. Also, in the top right corner now, you can click on the playlist that'll have all the episodes of this series so far in it, so you can follow along from there. Now in this episode, we are going to be starting the first suburb of this build. Um, I have not quite named this city yet. The whole area is named Grand Haven, the map itself, but I plan on having a couple cities and a bunch of small towns on this map. But this is going to be one of the bigger suburb cities. Maybe not necessarily a city, maybe one of the bigger suburb towns of the big city itself with the downtown and everything. We're going to build a port there probably. So the first sort of thing that we need to do is make a highway exit. Now I went for a very simple highway exit as you can see on the screen now that we're doing here. It's just a simple bridge over the highway. The highway is sunken down from the level of the city or the town itself. And just adding a couple basic on and off ramps from the highway up to the city above. So what we're going to be doing is sort of building the first suburb. Um, I've already sort of said that. The first neighborhood of this suburb. Um, we're going to give it a start. Um, before that, putting a couple guardrails along the uh, highway here. I'm going to be doing a lot of the rest of that off camera. We may come back and detail this on and off ramp a little more in the future because it's pretty basic right now. I tried to go for a little bit of a retaining wall um, to sort of make it look a little more city-like, but since this is going to be one of the suburbs and not necessarily the downtown area, uh, it didn't really feel right it felt a little too dense for this area that we're going for and I had some trouble making it anyway so maybe we'll figure out ways to do it in the future um, when we start expanding into the downtown area but first we're gonna sort of make our road layout for this initial suburb now I'm going to be using the roads the, called the Big American Roads. There's a whole uh, collection on the Steam Workshop if you want to use these roads. Um, it's also in my Assets and Mod collection in the description below for this series. Anything that I will be using in this series to sort of enhance the game, mods or assets wise, will be down in that collection below. So if you ever see me do something or use something that you'd like to use in one of your own series, or not necessarily a series, in one of your own projects, um, then you can feel free to go look down in the description below. It's a little lengthy, there's, there's quite a bit in there, so you may take some digging. Or if you just want everything that I'm using, just download the whole thing and you'll be good to go. Now we're going to start making this first initial neighborhood here. I want to make it more organic and not as blocky. Um, we'll do a little bit more grids in the main city when we get there and I'm not afraid to use grids in my builds. I know some people are really for grids or really against grids and a lot of American cities have a lot of grids so I like doing a bit of a hybrid. I like using grids a bit but sort of changing the goods around. Maybe we'll have one grid going one way and then there'll be a sort of grid 45 degrees on an angle meeting it at some point and then that kind of makes a cool looking realistic grid shape for it. Now for what we're going to be doing for this series mostly, I'm not sure if we're going to do a ton of zoning, we're probably going to do what I'm doing on the screen now, which is I'm placing houses that I like for this little suburb area, I think they fit for the theme. Now not all the th the houses that the game has, and we're using the ploppable growables here, which means these are all vanilla houses in the game. Not all of the zoning houses that they have really fit into the theme of areas, and when they sort of upgrade, when you know land value goes up or people go up in those houses, it it really gets too like crazy and futuristic and modern looking in some neighborhoods that it just wouldn't be realistic for that to happen. So I'm probably going to plop a lot of the buildings in the series. I may zone commercial and things like that, but for now, so far, I'm going to be plopping mostly everything. And that's what we're going to do here. But don't think I just put every individual the house down like very meticulously and you're going to see like eight episodes of me building suburbs before we do anything else. No, I copy and paste sort of 
a design as you can see on the screen here that I start with and then I fill in the holes from there so it doesn't take too long and we get a big part of uh, this sort of neighborhood taken care of in this episode. You don't see it on the time lapse that much because I do cut a lot of it out and do it off camera and you'll see that in the live portion at the end of this video but I just want that to be clear that that's what we're gonna be doing going forward for the time being. Now you can see me building a little bit of a park on the screen now but we're gonna switch to doing a little bit of fence work and plopping a few more houses um, and then we're gonna move over to doing a little bit of a commercial sort of strip on the main road there. Now, my design for this first neighborhood suburb area, I'll talk a little bit more about it in the live portion at the end of the video, but I can say a little bit now that it's gonna be a little more small scale, a lot more neighborhoods than, uh, you know, anything else because it's sort of a suburb of the big city. I think realistically when you look on Google Maps or you look on Google Earth, things like that, you see these, uh, the areas outside of the big city are tons of neighborhoods, big suburbs. There's a lot of uh, neighborhoods within them because there's people that like work in the city that live outside of it or want to live outside of a city because there's things to do in the city, you know. So the realistic thing is lots of neighborhoods on the outskirts here, but we'll build some smaller towns in the future of this series where it's just a town not really relative to the city at all. Um, it's just sort of its own thing. It has all its own utilities and all that jazz. But for this first suburb that we're gonna start with, it's gonna go off of everything that the big city has um, when we make the downtown in the future. So just keep that in mind when we do this build. It's not necessarily to build a super realistic small town, more of a super realistic suburb of a big city. So here, me, here is me plopping down a few of these commercial buildings here. I plopped down sort of a little restaurant diner place, which I think fit really well. And then I sort of formed these two commercial buildings that looked very similar together to make sort of a little business here. I don't know what it is, but you know, it, it looks like something that would be on a main road here. And uh, we'll, we'll jazz it up a little with uh, some fences and things like that. Um, I also end up doing in the uh, off camera is putting a couple gas stations down over at this intersection towards the highway because I think that's something that you see all the time. Um, just gas stations right off the highway because people like to stop and get gas right off the highway and it's just a good place to put a gas station. Um, so we put a couple of those here but that's pretty much it for commercial buildings this episode. Mostly it's doing this neighborhood. I do end up putting a coal power plant down as well that you will see later in the episode, but I don't know if it's necessarily gonna stay there. I kinda have an idea of what I wanna do. Uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, so it's not a big deal. But here I'm gonna build a couple cul-de-sacs at the end here instead of adding these roads up to the main drag there. Um, mostly the main sort of roads in these areas will not have as many intersections with these neighborhoods. There'll be a couple entrances to the neighborhoods and then they'll sort of flow from within with having some dead end cul-de-sacs like this. So that's what I went for here. And there's a nice little trick to do it. You just put a larger density road down and then use move it to sort of scrunch it in. So it makes sort of a little cul-de-sac. Now for this ones, we kind of have those little lines in the middle of it, but you won't really see it when you zoom out and look at it from above. So it's, it's not a big deal. Now here is the beginning of putting down the power plant that I thought about before because we do need to add some power to this initial area and just so we can not have a bunch of houses without power and see all those notifications when we record the live play. We kind of want to see it moving when we do that. So I sort of did a preliminary little plan of what exactly or where exactly the uh, power plant sort of industrial area is gonna be. I think I'm gonna change it slightly. It's just gonna move on the other side of the river that you see right now. I'll talk a little bit about that more in the live play. But for now, we'll just see me placing down this power plant. And uh, I'm gonna, I have a plan to do a big nuclear power plant to supply most of the power for the city. But for now, I don't wanna do that just yet, that build just yet. And I'm not sure where I'd wanna put it. Um, so we put down this coal um, power plant, not super environmentally conscious, but it's all good for now because it's a little more realistic and it's an asset that I found on the workshop because the, the coal power plant in the game just looks a little too futuristic and cartoony and just it's really small so it doesn't really look to scale. 
Um, we're gonna do a little bit of detailing here even though I think this will move so uh, don't get too attached to the place that it's in or how it looks right now because it is subject to change. And this is pretty much the final thing we're going to do in the time lapse up of this episode. I will see you guys in a second in the live play. If you want to skip ahead, it's in the description below, as always. And I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the episode, but if you've seen a video here before, you know the gist, so you'll know that. And I will see you guys in a second in the live play to show off what we did off camera and the finished build. Alright, hello and welcome back to the live play of the episode where we're going to show off the final build of this area. As you can see, I've done a lot off camera this time. I didn't want to show a bunch of uh, time lapse of me just placing houses and trees, which gets boring and repetitive after a while. So you kind of saw my method of doing it. So if you wanted to replicate that, you for sure can in your own build. Um, so. Let's get into what exactly we did. So I did end up just sort of copying the same houses that we did with the initial sort of uh, template here that I made and sort of copy and paste it a few times around. I just took the same houses and put a few fences around some of them and added some trees to just make it look like a, a generic suburb neighborhood. It just looks like a normal suburb neighborhood. Maybe a little more higher class than necessarily would be by an industry area, but definitely not super fancy, rich, big, big lot houses. These are pretty close together, pretty small, medium um, houses. But, you know, land is really a high commodity in sort of suburbs right outside of big cities, so I think it works for the area. Um, here is the sort of commercial building areas we did. Put a little bit of rubble in the back of this big commercial building. We have the little diner here. And I also put a police station down. We will be changing this. This is just a placeholder because they were complaining about some criminal activity over in this neighborhood when I was turning the, uh, the camera on to play. But I don't really like how the vanilla police station looks, so I think I will be getting an asset for that. And then, as I mentioned in the time lapse, here's a couple of the gas stations I placed down, which work. Um, they are the vanilla ones, and I'm sure I'll keep these. I wish they had a little better uh, gas station varieties, but that's okay. Now, behind the gas stations, I sort of went for um, little sparse trees. I think little bushes and little tiny trees. I also made the ground with the oil texture, so it looks a little different than uh, the natural grass. just looks a little more beat up, like it's uh, just an area that's not very well maintained. It's right by the highway, stuff like that. You kind of see this when you're getting off of highways in real life. And there's not a lot of vegetation usually. It's very uh, sparse and spread out because they do do work and they want to have visibility for cars, things like that. So that's what we did there, and I think it turned out really good looking at it from above. I'm really happy with the result of this, and I just can't wait to add some more stuff past these little neighborhoods. Now this neighborhood, I do plan on expanding. It's going to be a little bigger, probably get this way. But over in this area, I want to do a school, probably an elementary school, and maybe a middle school with it. Maybe like a little elementary middle school area. But we'll use an asset for that because I like building schools, and the uh, the schools in the game are a little small. I, I don't think they work necessarily. Over here, not sure what I'm going to do. I may extend the neighborhood down this area. Maybe a park. I'm not entirely sure, but for now, I think this looks really good. We'll definitely extend this out more, add more buildings, things like that. Maybe we'll do like a big supermarket or something like a Walmart or, you know, something of that sort with a big parking lot area because it seems very suburban America to have something like that from the big downtown city that we're going to build over here. Now here's the coal um, power plant here. My idea for where this will probably go is across the river and I think I want to make the industrial area of the city kind of over here. The elevation sort of starts going up right about here so I think this area will be perfect for the industrial area. Now the highway I think will move up to where the elevation is a little higher. We'll have it ride along this mountain and we'll have some industrial exits that pretty much people that only are working in the industry will do and that'll help with our traffic problem that inevitably happens if you just kind of let the industry ride on the same highways and exits as everyone else that's trying to get into the city. So I think it'll work out in the long run. I think it'll look good that the river is kind of separating industry from the rest of the areas. Um, this might just end up being 
just like this, more neighborhoods, more suburbs, but it's getting a lot closer to the actual big city. So I think that's my idea for now, that maybe what we do in next episode is move this highway up, but I didn't want to do it for this one because we already did quite a bit in this episode. But I am extremely happy with how it turned out. And this is sort of the style I want to go for for a lot of the neighborhoods. I want it to be a very densely treed areas for the most part. Maybe not so much by the industry, but since the map has a lot of trees and it's very naturally beautiful, I want to keep that going into the city. And I think uh, that's sort of the ideal city in my mind would have a lot of nature involved in it. So I think this just looks like a very nice American suburb, and I'm really happy with the result. The houses work perfectly. I wish we had a few more to work with, because it's pretty much the same five, four or five houses over and over again, changing the colors a bit, but it works, and it looks great. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please let me know down below in the comments. If you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. It's completely free and it really does help out the channel. And if you liked it, please hit like. If you didn't like it, go ahead and dislike it. But I will see you guys in the next episode of this series when we do something new, maybe work with the industry a little bit. But until then, I'm Mixnazzy and I'll see you guys next time.